father in the name of jesus i open up my heart and i open up my spirit to receive the impartation that positions me to manifest this kingdom authority even within this end time i want to be an effective battle axe i want to be an effective believer not just one who comes to receive in church but one who one who becomes an extension of that power go ahead and pray once upon a time the disciples could not cast out spirits once upon a time the disciples could not pray for the sick once upon a time they could not enjoy and experience the blessings of the Lord but something came upon them go ahead and pray take a minute to pray ladies and gentlemen a global family connecting from across the globe this is what God wants to do in this season dominion over unclean spirits bringing liberty to men ministering the spirit releasing families releasing captives dominion over sicknesses diseases infirmity death dominion over economic financial limitations that have plagued the body of Christ someone pray hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. Pray. Hallelujah. Please look up. Is it possible to truly walk in the experience of authority over unclean spirits? Yes. Do you have to be a man of God to access that privilege? In terms of ministry? No. In terms of knowing God? Yes. Can you have authority over sickness, disease, untimely death? Yes, sir. Is there a grace that can enhance that reality? Yes, sir. Can you walk in favor that elemental forces within your territory are compelled to bow and deliver its riches to you? Yes, sir. Is there a grace that controls that possibility? Yes, sir. Can men receive it? Yes. Can it be made manifest here and now? Yes, sir. I'm saying that because this is what you are about to receive so open up your spirit as I pray for you and then we wrap up the service father you have placed this prophetic word in my heart for the body of Christ that there is a need to come into a higher spiritual understanding and then to access the requisite grace I'm praying right now for a man of God here I'm praying right now for a businessman here i'm praying for a prophet an apostle an evangelist a pastor following from some nation where your life has been barren of the experience of what the word says should be as a result of the finished work of christ i decree and declare authority over unclean spirits receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now that from tonight in the name of jesus you will not have to bring them to joshua selman that you will stand as a priest that you are and make declarations and this grace will speak for you 
in the name of Jesus Christ number two in the name of Jesus I first pray for you the sickness that will kill you may it never come near your body the sickness that would deteriorate your organs may it never come near your destiny and if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is having any planting in their body that is not by my God I command it to jump out of your life with these anointed hands may you go back and lay them on the sick and watch mighty miracles happen by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ number three and finally for tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that quickens your mind then quickens your hand then draws men to you to make for supplies in your life in the name of Jesus I place that grace on your head I place that grace on your head I speak to every financial bill that may be depressing you that is not giving you peace you are not able to sleep because there are needs that must be met this week I stand by the prophetic and the apostolic may my God raise strange help for you may my God raise strange help for you in the name of Jesus hear me anyone here who may have lost in business you've lost money you've lost clients you've lost opportunity in the name of Jesus I place a grace on you go back and excel for the sake of his name and for the sake of his kingdom go back and excel and there are many of you here while you sleep in the night the spirit of wisdom will come to you and open you up to strange strategies that makes for your rising in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia hear me nobody under the sound of my voice will die before their time nobody under the sound of my voice will have to live their life begging for tea and bread every family here that is going through any kind of limitation in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I am praying let my God arise and help you and finally any human agent who has been ordained by God to help you and support you as you rise they may have forgotten you they may have been ill advised against you but I'm praying this week may my God use them to bring his word to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ therefore my dear people walk in this consciousness don't just share the grace and leave walk in this consciousness that I am anointed walk in this consciousness that I am God's battle axe walk in this consciousness that many destinies depend on me walk in this consciousness that I have received something that I must put to work and as you do that you will see the God of wonder surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ keep standing everyone let me make the altar call I always make the altar call every week why because I love Jesus number two because I love the people who he is bringing forth to make their ways right with him number three because it is the first of the Great Commission we have been mandated to see to it that the lost come to the fold you are in this place tonight you came to church and whilst you heard me speak the Spirit of God began to speak to you that it is time to make your ways right with God perhaps you are making this decision for the first time it does not matter or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus you are saying apostle I do not want to leave this place without making my ways right with Jesus there's no point cajoling you know by the Spirit 
that he's been speaking to you i'm going to count one to five whether you are up the balcony scattered across the congregation all the overflows or perhaps someone who is following online or by way of television wherever you are as i count one to five very boldly without shame without intimidation this is a family that loves you leave your seat and i want you to come and stand here as i count five thank god for my beautiful sister one leave your seat and come quickly let's celebrate them as they come Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Jesus is calling many to himself. Two, leave your friends, leave whoever you came to church with. This is a personal affair between you and your dear Savior. Come, come. Three, if you're coming, please run to Jesus. Apostle, you don't know how I've lived my life. Will Jesus accept me with all joy and pleasure? Come. I want to start afresh again, Apostle. Can I join them? Yes, please, join them. I'm not even sure if I'm saved. I just know that I love Jesus and I go to church. Join them. You can have something called the assurance of salvation. God bless you. Come. 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 Hallelujah. Believers learn that it is a glorious thing every time people come to Jesus. No man has the power to make another man leave his seat and come and stand here. Human beings are not dummies. All these people standing are adults. Some of them are crying. It takes the spirit of the living God. Through the frailty of our words, he penetrates the hearts of the people and prepares them to receive salvation. My brothers and my sisters, thank you for not denying Jesus Thank you for the boldness to make that decision. It doesn't matter what you have done or not done. Doesn't matter how your life has been before now. He can give you a new beginning. May I please request that you lift your right hand. And that includes those in all the overflows. Includes those who are making this decision online. Please join as I lead God's people in this prayer. Say after me as loud as you can. Dear Lord Jesus. I love you. With all my heart. I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive you into my heart as my Lord my Savior and my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I am a child of God washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these beloved people they have come declaring your lordship over their lives i stretch my hands over you and i declare indeed that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life in the name of jesus christ i declare that from today you walk in the newness of life forward ever and backward never in jesus mighty and matchless name we pray a big congratulations please the counselors are waving their hands at you my right that will be towards your left let's celebrate them as they follow the counselors they will have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat congratulations let's give them a big god bless you